People always say they wish they learned more stuff in school that they'd actually use in real life. Okay, mm. for yeah. real. Things like budgeting your money. Doing taxes. But, yeah. yeah. I mean, it'd be totally. nice to know how to do that. Yeah. Learning about mental health. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So yeah. big. Which is why for a year now, I've been pitching a new class idea to the local school boards that I think would be pretty useful mm. out in the real world. Uh-oh. A flirting 101 class. No. Oh, no. <laughs> well, hold like, on. No, no, don't judge too quickly. No. Just physical education. Imagine teachers mm. showing young students the best <laughs> pickup lines. <laughs> Early on. <laughs> Someone is going to hear this and turn to their Facebook page and go, look, they're teaching flirting in school. I heard it on the radio. Maybe they should be. A little lesson on how to seduce someone using just your eyes. Oh. Think about how hey. useful that would be Stop out in the world. eye contact. <laughs> and even a live make-out demonstration and tutorial. <laughs> Who are you making out with in front of the kids, Jeff? Vice Principal Victoria. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be on the final, so you need to practice at home. Uh, okay. Make sure you really mastered it. And today... <laughs> I think we're going to be your love educators by showing you exactly what not to do ah. if you want to score a date. Because we have a brand new batch of voicemails from people who got the loser line. Oh, oh so we oh. can still learn from yeah, this. We're yeah. going to learn from this and then <laughs> make out tutorial afterwards if there's time. Is that I'm the down, quiz? Pop Jeff. quiz? Yeah, we're okay. going to do it. I call Jeff. It's coming okay. up <laughs> at 710. Hey, girl. What's up with you? Wait a minute. Is this the right number? It's um the loser line. Come on. Just call me back. If you haven't heard the loser line before, it works like this. Let's say a guy approaches you while you're out at the club and uses this charming pickup line on you. Um, excuse me, miss. Oh. But I just realized something. Oh. What's um, that? Eight planets. Eight one, planets? One universe. 7.6 billion people. Yeah. And you're the only one I chose to follow home tonight with my oh. car. Oh, wow. That was almost it was, sweet. We were the, almost there. <laughs> what, what are the odds? <laughs> I feel one like in 7.8 billion. <laughs> they're probably pretty good with that guy. After he says that, whatever you do, do not tell him you just got majorly creeped out. Uh, Instead, thank him for the kind compliment. Uh, and then give him the number to the loser line. While advice? at the same time, filing an est- a restraining order oh, online. Yeah, that's good advice. Go. So hopefully he leaves an awkward voicemail that we can play over the air. Voicemails like this one. Next message. Paige, this is calling you again. Um, guy that fixed your tire. This is like the, this is the third voicemail I'm leaving you. I haven't heard anything from you. I'm just, uh, I don't know, I guess I'm just like a little confused here. I thought I was going to see you. I thought you were going to call me back by now. You know, kind of went out of my way fixing the tire. I wasn't looking for anything out of it. Oh. I was just trying to do the chivalrous thing. You know, I was just trying to show you that I'm I'm, I'm one of those old school kind of guys. Uh-huh. You know, it's kind of it's kind of like kind of like you killing chivalry here. You, know, you 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 did. You killed chivalry. You killed chivalry and me. You killed this knight, and that's it. What do you expect? This is why chivalry's dead because of girls like you. And 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 it it wasn't. I wasn't smelling your hair. It wasn't weird. It wasn't like I could just. It, there was a breeze. I I could smell it. It was. I was giving you a compliment. I was giving you a compliment. Forget it. I guess I'm not going to compliment women or anymore or be chivalrous guy, fix tires or nothing. Next message. Oh, Why do, my I'm going to say rest in peace, chivalry. If yeah. that's what it is. Why do I imagine, like, the woman bending down to point out the nail in her tire and he has his nose, like, right in her hair? Oh, yeah. He's like, oh, sorry, it's, it's the wind. All of it. The irony of, like, I'm a, I wasn't expecting anything. Of course but you were. Yeah. You should be on a date right now. <laughs> Next message. Hi, Jenny. Um,. I, I know we don't really know each other, uh, but I was kind of hoping uh, I could invite you uh, to Thanksgiving dinner with my parents. And uh, look, so long story short, um, I was seeing this girl a few years ago, and my um, well, my brother kind of stole her from me. And I was hoping that if you know you're, you're very like you're a very beautiful girl, and I was kind of hoping that you can come with me to make her jealous because I'm kind of trying to get her back. Um, you know, I don't mean like I want her back. <laughs> like I'm not, you know, I'm not like a loser or anything. Um, no, I want to like get her back and um, like I, I want to like steal her back and then like dump her, you know? <laughs> so I think, you know, poetic justice. So, I mean, I'll even pay you if, if, uh, if, if that's what it takes. So, you know, I think it'd be a lot of fun, you know, like role playing. <laughs> um, so yeah, Jenny, uh, give me, Give me a call back and let me know 
Okay, bye. Next message. Well, wow. good thing is it sounds like he hasn't thought about that too much. So. Oh, yeah. Is it bad I'm super down to go to that dinner, actually? Oh, yes. that would be fun. I was going to volunteer you, too. Yes. Like, that yeah. That poor guy. You I was, should. And I report to back to Alexis. Yeah. That's like a hey. Real Housewives episode that hasn't aired yet. <laughs> <laughs> Next message. I'm still here. I'm not sure where you are, but I'm calling you from the bathroom right now because your friend, he just gave me, like, the weirdest pickup line. He was like, hey, are you on the menu tonight? Because that's what I want to order. And I'm just like, ew. Like, has that ever worked for you for, like, anybody ever? (laughs) And he's like, he has, like, a whole Instagram of motorcycles. And I'm like, dude, I don't care. I'm like, put your stupid phone away. I mean, look, like, I get it. I'm looking hot tonight, you know? Like, I definitely got it going on. But, like, we have to get away from him, like, far away from him. And there's another place down the street called the Green Bar. And so just meet me down there. Next message. Oh, my God. Uh, no. <laughs> I actually felt bad for her. With you the pulled motor- the bathroom move before. Just like the motorcycles on the Instagram. Oh, like, bad. You know, maybe one photo, but really? It's and those so guys terrible. are the worst because they'll be like, and if you're lucky, I'll let you ride on the back. Of yeah, one. exactly. <laughs> yeah. If you're lucky. Uh-huh. What a charmer. Remember, oh, you get the special loser line number if you text the word loser, L O S E R, to 78592. Give it to somebody who's trying to show you his cool motorcycle collection <laughs> on his Instagram. <laughs> So hopefully they can call us and leave us an awkward voicemail. We can play voicemails like this one. Next message. Hey, Sandy, it's me. I'm, uh, when you told me you had a kid, I know I said, ooh, gross, and I made oh. a big deal. Oh. It just scares me to be a dad. Mm. But I've been thinking, you know, maybe I actually would be a good father. I mean, it doesn't look that hard. I've seen guys at McDonald's just throw them in the ball pit. I mean, they go to the bar, come back a half hour later, and pick them up. It's great. Oh. I can, I can do that. So, I'm, I'm not saying I want to be your kid's dad, but I, I'm open to it. You know, as long as we get to do stuff. Next message. Oh, oh boy, this guy should not be uh, a father. They I, always said parenting was hard, but this guy changes my mind. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> chapter eleven of the parenting book. Leave him at McDonald's. Yes. Oh, God, <laughs> I'm just concerned he's not the only male out there that actually thinks that's a daycare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fresh food. <laughs> Next message. Hey, Robin, it's Jerry from the bar. Uh, we met a couple of nights ago, and I just want to let you know I thought you were so beautiful, and uh, your your glasses they look so good, so great with your face. You know, no joke. I, I it, it's just so difficult to find somebody that's able to rock a pair of glasses the way that you did. Uh, speaking of glasses, do you, do you know why football players can't wear glasses? It's because it's a contact sport. <laughs> but I'm. <laughs> Uh, no, but seriously, like a girl who can pull off glasses like you, it's, it's just very impressive because I actually have them too. I wear mine to uh, do my math homework because it improves my division. <laughs> but I'm a bitch. Uh, but I mean, like all jokes aside, I think you are so hot. I love glasses so much. I, I, I usually bring two glasses when I see my family, two glasses of scotch. Because my family is a nightmare. <laughs> sorry, sorry, that one wasn't really a joke. Next <laughs> Alexis, you don't like a man who can do his own rim shot? I like that he does that, so I know it was supposed to be a joke. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like a right. yeah. And then Brooke, sticks your have, hair when he's done. <laughs> you'd have a heyday with you and your glasses. No, dude, I'm down. <laughs> yeah. Remember, you can listen to Loser Line regularly at this time every week. Or head over to the Brook and Jeffrey on Spotify, where you can listen to full episodes of our show. We got your phone tab coming up right after this.